Okay, so you've got your drawing tablet and you want yourself an Ergotron arm to make that awesome combination come to life. But you're not sure which monitor arm Ergotron to go for. So here are a couple of tips that are really gonna make it easy for you. First thing straight off the bat that you wanna do is go and find your tablets manufacturer's website. Okay, so that might be, let's say, uh, Wacom Cintiq 27 QHD. Go and find that page. Go and find the specifications on that page. Scroll down, look for two pieces of information. Now, if you've got another drawing tablet, same thing, go and find the manufacturer's website, looking for two pieces of information from the manufacturer's website. And that is the drawing tablet's overall size. Not the fact that it's 24 inch or 27 inch screen, but the overall size, including the bezel and everything, okay? You are also looking for the weight of the drawing tablet. These two pieces of information are very, very vital for finding the right Ergotron arm. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to Ergotron's website and you're gonna find a couple of Ergotron arms that look good for something like, say for example, the Wacom Cintiq 27 QHD. I would recommend the LX Sit Stand or the Ergotron HX, for example. These are two of the bigger, stronger arms that will do other great tablets as well, say for example the Cintiq Pro 24, both of those will do those, obviously the HX is a bit sturdier. You can go to Ergotron's website, find either of those arms, then scroll down and you will find a couple of stats about the arm and it will say the maximum weight capacity and the maximum size you can put on those arms. So as long as the tablet's weight isn't over the maximum capacity and as long as the maximum size isn't over the maximum size that you can put on the arm, then winner. I will say also, don't pick an arm if it's just verging on the edge, you know, if it's at the maximum weight capacity and you're thinking, well, I can just get away with it, it's fine. No, because the... Um, the nearer it is to its maximum capacity of weight, the more wobble you're gonna get. Buy the one that's more in the safe zone, if you know what I mean. Hopefully that's a tip that really, really helps you. Um, th this is something that really helps a lot of artists and I get this question all the, all the time. So that's why I thought I'd make this video all about it. So spread the word, get this out there, retweet this video, share this video, do as much as you possibly can. Um, to share this that would be awesome guys also you know I'm coming up to a nice big chunky number of subscribers and views so spread the word just for the channel if you can that would be awesome I should speak to you guys very very soon have a great day I would love to see your studio tweet me a picture of it message me a picture on Facebook shoot a video of it and message me a link to that. That would be awesome. I will do a compilation video of people's studios. That would be so awesome. Let's do that. I'll speak to you guys soon. Have a great day.